Howdy doody everybody, my name is Kev Gooey and welcome to the council. Experience and narrative adventure where your choices and character growth truly matter. As a member of a 1793 secret society, live a tale of intrigue and manipulation on the hunt for your missing mother. Huh, secret society, huh. So this game is like a Telltale's game, I think, I believe. It's developed by Big Bad Wolf. So, hmm, let's see how it goes. Enter the manor. Yes, please. Uh, all right. Uh, let's see. New game. Here you go, here you go. France, Paris. December 10th. Oh, 1792. Ah! Stop! You're not getting anywhere with this von Borschert. You know, I kind of get the same feeling, my dear Sarah. Listen. Nothing. Not a sound. No one's coming to save you. Huh. That's what you think. The Golden Order knows exactly where we are. <laughs> By the time your ridiculous secret society turns up, I'll be long gone. As for you, nothing will remain of your body. If you touch a single hair on my mother's head, I'll skin you alive. Oh, we found her mother already. You know, Louis, I have no intention of beating your dear mother. There are more persuasive ways of making you talk like what <gasps> you've stolen something from me that i intend to get back are those adult drinks where have you hidden it von borschert you can't sell that book on the black market anymore this is finished wait you can sell anything on the black I know market you're planning on selling it at one of lord mortimer's parties all right just tell us who the buyer is and we can make a deal. You've no idea of the trouble you've gotten yourselves into. Oh, but you will tell me where it's hidden. I can promise you that. Wait, I thought they had the... I... Oh, stop annoying our host, Louis. Son, didn't what happened to you in Rome teach you anything? Rome? Flashback? Just a few oh. more minutes and my concoction will be ready. Making a, mi a, a mix drink for us. With this, your bodies will dissolve in less than four hours. You'll see. It loosens tongues in no time. But wait, by you know, melting our bodies? I have to admit, Mother, the only thing you've ever taught me is that damn motto of yours. Always remain rational. I've opened the shackles. Draw him over here. I'll take care of him. Yeah, let's whisper like this. It's very quiet. Von Borchard. Mm -hmm. Listen. Let's make a deal. I'll tell you where the book is if you let my mother go free. Oh, what are you playing at? Don't worry, mother. You want to play the hero. Pity you're not in any position to do so. For the last time. Where is Alazif? Let me do this. Trust me. Well, I mean, we gotta find our mother, so we we gotta trust her. Okay, we got we gotta trust our mother. All right. Please be my guest, mother. Mm. Ah. What what happened? Did, did did the Well done, Louis. You reacted perfectly. Did, did the chair just go mother? through Couldn't him? Be better. He's alive, so I can question him after we get back. Pity he's just a middleman. Hmm. Means I haven't finished with this case. 
Oh, I had a feeling you'd be running off on one of your adventures again, Mother. Illuminati! You know what? I'm warning you. This time, I'm coming with you. No. Even though you impress me more and more, I have to do this on my own. Well, Mother, you're no spring chicken anymore. Come on, let's go home. But and don't forget to send our men to tend to Von Borchardt. Oh, okay. We're just gonna leave him there. Okay, we, you know he's not gonna move away or anything. He's not gonna wake up anytime soon. How do we know? We don't know that. One month later, mother goes missing. Jan January twentieth, seventeen ninety-three. Now we have to go find our mother because Illuminati took her. I mean, there was Illuminati sign, like you know, I right there, right? Anything I related is Illuminati. Lord Mortimer's in, uh, island off of England? Every time I see Mortimer, I, I, th I think of Lord Voldemort. <laughs> maybe, maybe just Voldemort, like, sh that changed his name. So no, one, no one can suspect that it's Voldemort, you know? Or it's Mortimer from Game Grumps. Well done, Mother. You just had to pick up Von Burchard's trail on your own, didn't you? I mean, that's what she Ditch said. Me in Paris with no explanation, and off you go to infiltrate one of the world-renowned receptions of this Lord Mortimer. And now he writes me to say that you've gone missing on his private island, which, by the way, looks more like a big rock than a paradise island. Well, I'm pretty sure to him it's a paradise island. To you, it's just a big rock. I mean, look at it. It's dark. You can't see Diddy squat. Are you the here? The least he could do is explain to me how he managed to lose you. In Ooh. any case, it is time for you to stop all this, Mother. It no longer suits your age. Well, I'm sure I'll find you once again, slogging through the caves beneath the island, searching for some long-lost well, mystical know. object that you just can't live without. I'm already hating this trip, and all I've done is well, think about it. By that woman, you're with. It was not the host himself who invited me. Well now, Duchess. We find ourselves both invited by Sir Holm. Well, how very amusing. Perhaps we have some common interests, Your Eminence. Is this your first time at one of Lord Mortimer's legendary parties? Oh, no. We have been friends since long ago. But as I'm doing some business with Sir Holm, the invitation came from him. Well, I simply can't wait for all the festivities to begin. And you, good sir, what brings you here? I thought I thought the uh, I thought the guy's head was was like just flat in the back because it just kind of blended in with the the darkness like that like it just blended in the dark. I thought his head was just like dented in. It's like, are you okay, sir? Hmm. Well, we don't have business with the more. It's a personal reason. Do that. Your Eminence, with all due respect. I prefer to keep my reasons for coming here to myself. I promise it has nothing to do with the legendary party that you all appear to be preparing for. I believe what you will, my son. However, everything is related to the legendary parties organized. Yeah, do you see his head? Yeah, I'll be the judge of that, Cardinal. Anyway, consider yourself fortunate, young man. Because there are many who dream of simply one day setting foot on this island. How did we get invited? And only a very few ever make it. Indeed, I imagine this must be your first time here. Oh. Interesting that there's no timer. We get to actually choose. Ooh, turn the question back to the Duchess. And you, Duchess? You seem to be quite accustomed to things here. Am I right? I do not think that one can ever get accustomed to what Lord Mortimer prepares for his guests. You look like a... But you are right. This is not the first time I've been on this wharf. If you know what she reminds me again, of? I imagine you must find it to be of some interest. Here, uh, Mortal Kombat Sindel? If you make the right choices, it really is up to you whether you leave better off or not. Oh, here we go. Please make the right me. choices. If you find me overly curious, young man. I did not mean to cause you any embarrassment. I think we came with her. They are waiting for us. We're moving, Monsieur de Richet, if you would like to join us. I'm coming, Duchess. A cardinal? A duchess? I wonder if all the guests here are this prestigious. 
If I'd known, I, I would have gone for a better suit. You know, except ah! it's the only suit I have. Are you right? Oh no, I got a migraine. Everyone, turn ah! off the lights. Turn off the fire. I got a migraine. Oh no, I got the shakies. Oh no. Migraine and I need my alcohol. The alcohol shakies. Mother? Oh shit, your hand. So? Okay, it's done. Did you put it in a safe place? Yes. I made sure no one was following me. Don't worry, Sarah, no one's going to find it. The hand? Are you absolutely sure? Yes, I'm sure. Right. Just one thing left to do. No, no mother, don't, don't! What? Have you lost your mind? There's no other way. If you, if you kill me, you won't find it. That is the point, my dear. No one must ever put their hands on it again. No. But I trusted you. No, sir. Don't. No. No! <gasps> you can run if you want to, Sarah, but you will pay for it. Um. So. You. Uh, Louis, are you all right? What's going on? Uh, it's just a migraine. Uh, it, Here, it's just take this. from looking at your your voluptuous bazangas. Are you better? That that you know, bloody nose. Don't worry. It's getting late. Why don't Why don't you just go on ahead and I'll catch up with you okay are you sure yes i'm sorry i'm sure yes so i'm pretty sorry. sure we she killed our mother and that's why she's still alive i definitely have to find mother quickly but i'm confused Does that means she's dead oh or what i can actually control the, the duchess arrived with me what's happening to me for god's sake Absolutely need to find you, mother. Wait, is this some weird controlling? I control with the controller. It's much easier to use a control. I think it might be easier to use control because the WAS, WAS is very confusing. I run. Oh, oh, I can run. I think. Oh, oh, RT. Oh my gosh, so much better. All right. I don't know if there are any items to look for. Oh, oh, never mind. Louis, during the trip, I had something I wanted to ask you, but we didn't happen to run into each other. Yes, Duchess? I'm not sure if you remember, but we've met before. At that time, you were of two minds as to your choice of career. Tell me, what have you been up to since? Oh, oh my gosh. Uh, politics, etiquette, linguistics, conviction, diversion. Okay, the diplomat shines in society. A talented speaker, he avoids faux pas, and he can convince those who with whom he is talking about without offending them. Politics is his field of pre pre predilection. Cordis, the author, is a master of deception, convinced of the importance of knowledge. He has acquired extensive expertise in science and the arts. Using others to achieve his own ends does not bother him. Manipulation of occultism. Erudition? Erudition? What is that? Senses and subterfuges. Questioning, vigilance, psychology, agility, and logic. The detective excels in investigation. He is trained to notice every detail in his surroundings as well as in people he questions. A hands-on man, he does not shy away from the direct approach. Using a class to find your basic skills, the other skills will still be available, but learning them will be more exp expensive. Ooh! I, I like the sound of the detective right now. Ooh. Alright, notice noteworthy details of our, our oddly placed elements. Okay. Locks dialogue options and actions. Oh, I like that. Oh, I love dialogue and um, options. Okay. Is there anything strange in some... Okay, uh, psychology. You know, people's behavior is like an open book. 
Notice noteworthy details or oddly placed elements. Well, we have three. Wait, Detective Unlocks the questioning. You, you now have seven effort points. Use your skills. Wait, seven effort points? Okay, I guess we already have one here, right? Where's manipulation? I have no idea. Alright, okay, anyways. Um, questioning and agility against people. That actually sounds good. So that we unlock everything. Okay. Why means for the the agility one. Well, over the last few years, I solved a number of crime cases, like the Chauffeur d'Orger, for example. Thieves that tortured their victims with burning embers. Hmm, charming. How did you catch them? I told the most cowardly one that the others had given him up. Ah, and I wager your thief suddenly started to talk. You wouldn't believe it. He told us everything. The jobs, the stashes, the names of his partners. Couldn't shut him up. I heard about that case, but I didn't know you were the one who solved it. I'm flattered that the news made it across the channel. And you've got a darn good memory, Duchess. Well, they say I have the memory of two people. But please, call me Emily. Fine, Emily. Tell me, I was actually helped on that case by my mother. You wouldn't know her by any chance. Wait, Louis. We've already met. You do remember me, don't you? Hmm. Not at all, sorry. Please excuse me, madam. I'm sure we've met before, but I don't remember where. Hmm. I appreciate your honesty, even if it's not very flattering for me. I imagine Oopsies. that with your beauty, madam, it's the first time a man hasn't remembered your face. Well, I must say, you make up for yourself rather elegantly. Please stop torturing me. I'm completely at your mercy. Where have we met? Four years ago, in London? No, sorry. I don't remember. In the office of William Pitt. Remember? No? I am so sorry, Emily, but I really don't remember you. Let's drop it, Louis. It doesn't matter. Right, time to go to the manor. Okay, opportunity. Your skills allow you to discover hidden details. Select the, ob the object that is most suggestive of these situations in order to discover them. After you now consume effort points to access the skill required for the situation, you just need to have unlocked it. Okay. What? I ask her a question, she answers with another. Is she playing with me? Okay, the personality. Each person you meet on the island has their own personality, which makes them vulnerable to certain skills and immune to others. Exploiting their personality is crucial to achieve your personal goals. Skills used against the immunities will not succeed and leave you exhausted. Meanwhile, exploited vulnerabilities will give you one effort point back. Uh, okay, immunity revealed. Vulnerability revealed. Press the back to access your um, menu pages. Emily, please excuse my insisting, but you still... Oh. Emily's handkerchief. It's you by Lady Hillsborough. Oh, yeah. A motorist invitation. Dear Monsieur de Richet, 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 I'm writing, oh, I'm writing to you to express my embarrassment regarding the situation in which I find myself. As you probably know, I had invited your mother, Sarah de Richet, to join me on my island several weeks ago. We had projects in common regarding your order. Her stay was going smoothly until yesterday when your mother suddenly disappeared. I do not want to overwhelm uh, you, but I would like you to join me as soon as possible so we can shed some light on this mystery. This is absurd, the expression of my highest consideration. Your sincerely, Lord William Mortimer, Marquis of Westfordshire. Okay. Oh, we have a map? We have characters? Do we have any more? No, we don't have any more. Oh, oh my gosh, what is all this stuff? What? 
Trades? Oh my gosh, there's so many thoughts. Okay. Answered about my mother. Do you know her? You'll see, Louis. Everybody here knows Sarah de Richet. Oh, Richet. I don't know where we're going like this, Emily, but you're connected to my mother one way or another. And if I can believe my vision, you don't have much of a place in her heart. All right, challenge your teen talents when carrying out certain actions. Remember to review their unlock conditions and effects as they offer very interesting improvements. Review uh, talents in, ded in the dedicated uh, tab in the menu. Okay. Oh my gosh, we gotta, we gotta have, reach level three in vigilance. Re oh, it's just reaching stuff. We are. Uh, uh, okay. Oh. Must be an incredible view from up there. Impossible to set foot on the island without being seen from 300 meters away. Uh, how did we? How did we? It, that's the, did we just run into it? I no. Good evening, sir. May I ask your name, please? Louis Moras de Richet. Monsieur de Richet, delighted to welcome you among us, sir. You must be Sarah de Richet's son. I must tell you, we are doing our utmost to find your mother as quickly as possible. Find the mask. Uh, what do you know about my mother? What can you tell me about the disappearance of my mother? Two weeks have passed since Sir's mother went missing. All the staff here have since been busy searching every nook and cranny of the island. But Sir may rest assured, we shouldn't be long in finding her. And just what have you found so far? It would seem that Sir's mother may be hiding on the island and regularly changing her location. But no one seems to know why she would find this behavior necessary. What do you mean? On several occasions, we have found leftovers of food, a few of her things, or even traces of campsites. <gasps> the reason why we are searching the wharf again is because lights were spotted there last night. Where we are now? Indeed, sir. According to our information, lights were seen in the middle of the night, sir. Okay. After verification, none of the guests seemed to have left the manor last night. How do you know that? We think that perhaps sir's mother was here. Yeah, how, how, how do you know, know that none of the guests left? Huh? Do you have surveillance cameras watching everything? Huh? It does give you access to unique choices and actions at the cost of effort points. The higher your skill level, the lower the cost is in effort points. Are the skills by, uh, okay. Oh, we do have a thing. Have you found anything yet? Okay, there's, there is a timer. Sometimes. And did you find anything then? We discovered a certain amount of damage, sir, on the wooden part of the wharf. What type of damage? Broken barrels, mainly. We'll do whatever is necessary to have them rapidly repaired. But quite frankly, I can't imagine what Sir's mother would have been doing with them. What could mother have been doing with barrels? Oh my God! Our search the in them. wharf hasn't been entirely unsuccessful, though. What do you mean? We seem to have found an object that would appear to belong to Sir's mother. A handkerchief. The handkerchief is embroidered with the initials SDR. We came to the conclusion that they are the initials of Sir's mother. Oh, oh. Sarah de Richet. Oh, don't, don't give I it to me. I have to give it to Lord Mortimer as soon as I see him. I know my mother. She's not the kind to go for a midnight stroll on the wharf for nothing. I've got to find out what the hell she was doing here. Where exactly did you find the handkerchief? On the landing dock, sir. The one you arrived by. Let me have the handkerchief. I'll take care of it. Oh. Why did? Why isn't he giving it to him yet? Like, when did he find this? And also, uh. Why didn't you just give it to me? Give me the handkerchief. I'll personally show it to Lord Mortimer. Well, I... I've traveled hard for several days in order to get here. Yes, but... Invited by your master. No, of course, but... Because my mother went missing right under your nose. Sir, please. I... And having only just arrived, you refused to give me her personal belongings? Of course not, sir. It was never my intention to contradict, sir. Here you are. You didn't even say anything. Like, uh, uh, still much to uh, prepare in order to uh, welcome all the guests.
Hold on. Yeah, check this out. Alright. Mother's handkerchief. E H and S D R. Oh. And I we can't look at it, so Okay, so let's use uh you collect four amber fragments, you gain one effort point. Right. Ooh. It is indeed your handkerchief, mother. You must have yeah. come here for a specific reason. I need to know what it is. Let's think. What could she have been doing out here on this wharf? Thank you for actually telling me the uh, whole... Why does it look? Latin inscription. Anessis, mi fili quantilia produncia mundus regatur. Oh, we can't. All right, well, now we know there's a thing. Okay, so these lights, we have to look at these lights. All right, that's good. There's no way I'm leaving without finding out about Mother. There's no way I'm leaving without finding out about Mother. What, what do you mean leaving? You? What? Oh, let's look for clues. Oh, okay, I get it now. Barrel's been broken for quite some time. Thank you for your observation. It helped a lot. Oh, we could go through here. I thought it was broken before. That's why I was like, uh, can we go through here at all? Open the gate. Locked. I'll never get it open barehanded. What, what was it? Was the point? What, what was the point? Oh, 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 oh. What is that? I can't see. Floorboard. Okay, I question where it came from. Where did it come from? Did it come from this bridge? Hmm. Judging by the splinters of the wood, this floorboard has been ripped up. Yet it was in decent condition. I wonder why someone ripped it up. What's the point of doing this? Was already made. Examine. Probably comes from this part of the wharf. The wood is slightly eaten away, of course, but it still would have been fine if it weren't smashed. It, it, can we can we lift it up? I, I guess now we okay. Good job. Good investigation. Hey, there's something not right about this floorboard. It's different from the rest. Oh no! Can, can we can we freaking see it? Somebody replaced it recently. It looks like it's fixed pretty solidly in place. It's going to be tough to rip it out of here. Ah oh, shit! Ah, it's not coming up. I'll never manage it barehanded. I need something to lever it with. Hmm. Well, we're not gonna use a free three freaking rip up the floorboard with that. With that, look at that. So many. Oh, hold on. We're gonna we're gonna look for some stuff. Okay. We get we gotta look for this. All right. All right. Oh my gosh. So much stuff to look at. What is that? Royal jelly. Yeah. You cannot carry more than five. Oh. Okay. What is that? Oh, it's just. Okay. Well, I. Yes, we we uh, look around for a leverage or something to leverage. Oh wait, hold on, what's that? This chest might belong to Duchess Hillsborough. I imagine a royal jet. Oh, we got another royal jelly. All right. Oh, here we go. Looks like a bar from an old gate. This miserable old bar has been broken fairly recently. The edges are still clean. And the tip is blackened. Without analysis to the contrary, I put my money on cannon powder. Oh, take the bar. This might just come in handy. Yeah, let's just put it on our butt. That's where we hide our stuff. The butt. The sack of seeds. It's unopened. No one seems to have used any. Honey, the remedy of the gods. That's not honey, that's royal jelly. Let's uh, look around, make sure. Oh, oh, oh. Some rope. 
Apparently no one's touched it for a good long time. All right, let's, let's not touch the freaking rope, okay? I mean, we might need it, but no, don't touch it. Let's see what's hidden inside. Let's look. Let's examine it one by one. Oh! Hmm, it has ideograms on it. It's too badly written. I, I can't make out the address. The address is 50 Bedford Square, London. Would this be added to our stuff? Does it matter? The address is in Sao Paulo, Brazil. That reminds me, it's about time the order sent some envoys there. Why? Why? Hmm. A letter written in an oriental language. Whoa, I don't know this language. The slightest idea what it says. Hmm. Probably a Dutchman. I guess we have to do the other thing, right? Oh, oh, on. Nope. It doesn't ring a bell. All right. An address in Cairo, Egypt. Mortimer communicates with the whole world, apparently. Yeah. I, oh. That's why his parties are legendary. This envelope is meant for the Vatican. Vatican? Doesn't ring a bell. I don't know what this the Vatican is. Sounds familiar. Pashi. No, can't seem to place it. No, nope, don't know who the Vatican uh, you know, are. Let's see what's hidden inside. Right, let's find a clue. Ah, one of the letters is stamped with the seal of the order. And I recognize your handwriting anywhere, Mother. But who is this Samuel Ritter Doshua? How did who we... are you writing to? How... I don't recognize the name. Let's see what's inside this letter. How did we find... So. Dear Samuel, my stay on Lord Mortimer's Island is going wonderfully well. As I find myself in such charming company, I plan to stay a few more weeks. Would you be so kind as to send me a gift that I'd like to give to our old friend Manuel Godoy? I would be most grateful. I have been told that he's going to join us here soon. I would like to mark the occasion. Thank you in advance. Yours devotedly, Sarah Faustine de Richer. What is your game here, Mother? Secrets, always more secrets. You've never talked to anyone using language like this. Something's going on here. Who is this Samuel Ritter? And for crying out loud, who is this Manuel Godoy that you keep bringing up? Think. Godoy, Godoy, Manuel Godoy. Why does that name sound so familiar? I don't know. Also, how did we miss that letter again? I mean, we were we looked through all the letters. Apparently, we just get we can read that one. We find that one all of a sudden. I'm guessing he's a man of some importance, Spanish, I'd say, but just can't put a face to him. Well, hope we meet to talk about it soon, Mother. I don't know what you've gotten yourself into this time, but I'll bet you've got a lot to tell me. All right, well, we got we got we took a letter. Okay. Um. Anything else that's important here? No. All right. Well, off we go. Off we go to so go. Um, take this uh, iron bar into. Oh my gosh, it's so dark. I can't see Diddy Squat. Oh, here we go. I think we didn't use uh, any points. Oh, oh my. It, that does it. Where did it go? Let's see what's hidden inside. There's a book and also a bag. The Mysterium Cosmographicum. I know that book well. Mother used to read passages from it to me all the time. And judging from what I can see, it's the same one as hers. For crying out loud, what's happened to you, Mother? Why'd you hide it here? And why'd you rebuild it? Manuscripts allow you to educate yourself during the adventure. At the 
start of each quest, you can choose what to read and gain permanent skill points. Find your remaining skills by using the inventory tab in the menu. Okie dokie. Let's look inside the bag. A little food, a few toiletries, a small key, and some kind of black powder. Wow, we got a lot of things to examine. Some fruit, a piece of bacon, and some bread. Oh. The fruit's still firm. The bread's a bit stale. Yeah. <laughs> From the smell, this food's been here roughly two days. And if it's rationed, there's enough left to last two more days. Oh my gosh. Shit. Those are definitely my mother's things. I recognize her hairpins. This bag smells of her perfume. Piece of soap, some oils, and her powder puff. Pow what powder puff? Mean? Power puff? Oh, wait, hold on. Why, why aren't you just like taking the bag? Why are you just examining it there? Okay, could you just take it and be like, oh. An iron key completely rusted. Uh, let's, let's just take the key. You know, let's not no. take the key. It might be useful. I hope mother wasn't counting on it. I mean, I'm pretty sure the key goes to the thing over yonder, you know, right in front of you. The bottom of the bag is covered in black powder. And make a big bam. Right. Just in case, I'll take it all. I'll give it back to mother when I see her. Why wouldn't you take it all? Why? I'm crying out loud. Why did you hide supplies in the middle of nowhere, mother? I don't know what's going on here, but... You obviously feel like you're in danger. Oh boy. So many things. But anyways, I'm gonna end the episode here, everybody, for the council. Hmm. Ah. Uh, well, a lot of things are going on. A lot of dialogue and stuff. Kinda like Telltales, like I was talking about, but hmm. I guess we're gonna go see Lord Vol Mortimer, Voldemort, Mortimer from Game Grumps. That, that's our, our cue to go. Oh my gosh, my controller's stuck. Hold on. Alright. Yeah, I think that's where we're going. To Game Grumps Mortimer soon, guys. Woo! But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this first episode of The Council. This is... This might be really fun to uh, see where it goes. Huh. Is it with all the choices and skill points and all that? This sounds interesting, I have to say. Woo! But anyways, you guys can check out this game for yourself. Link is down below in the description. So if you guys enjoyed this episode, then please slime that like button and subscribe down below for more awesome videos. Thank you everybody for watching this episode, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye!